Hey guys, it's Penguin here and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, I am super excited to finally bring back a series that I started back in Shadowlands called Items I'm Currently Selling. And that means that in today's video, I'll be covering five market slash items that I've been selling in Dragonflight. Now, I like to keep these a little bit non-traditional, meaning a lot of these items are either super, super looked over or just like not a lot of people are aware of them. So hopefully you can walk away with at least one item that you can start selling yourself. As always, everybody, keep in mind in Dragonflight, professions are a lot more complicated, so it's no longer as simple as just learning a recipe, but I've tried to keep these recommendations as simple as possible, and I will try to give you as much information as possible. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. And alright, starting out, we have a super simple blacksmithing item. And this is called the Sturdy Expedition Shovel. Now, to all the blacksmiths out there, you probably have either overlooked this, accidentally come across it, or didn't even know it existed. And basically what this item is, is just a better version of the vendor bot shovels. You guys know in order to dig dirt piles, you guys have to buy a shovel, and most of us are probably buying vendor ones. But there's actually a purchasable or craftable one from the auction house that has 20 charges instead of five, and that is this item right here. And because of that, they are super, super popular, in demand, and also super cheap to craft. Currently on my server, it takes me about 60 gold to craft one of these, and keep in mind these are server prices, but right now on my server, they sell for 250 gold. So, you know, I'm almost making a 200 gold profit. There's of course an auction house cut, but you know, a little less than 200 gold. Now, of course, I am on a medium pop server, so take my prices with a grain of salt, but according to the Ouroboros exchange, the average NA price is 150. So even 150 minus 60, of course, there's an auction house cut, but that is still, you know, 80 to 90 gold profit every single shovel you sell. Now, the reason why I think not everybody actually has this recipe is because it does require reputation, but don't worry, it is super easy to get. What you need is Reputation 5 or Renown 5 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Of course, if your blacksmith is your main, you probably have this, but if you have an alt that's a blacksmith, you are okay. You can actually hit this super, super fast by collecting the Dragon Scale flags that are around the map. As long as you have one character, most likely your main character, that has hit Renown 7, there are 20 flags around the map, very similar to like glyphs, that you can just go around and collect. Assuming you have no sort of reputation buff, if you collect all 20, you're going to gain two Renown levels. So that puts you almost halfway there. And if you do have the alt buff once you hit Renown 10, so you get double the experience or double the rep, that means if you collect all 20 flags, that is instantly four levels of Renown. Just do a few world quests if you have to, and you will simply get to Renown 5. So yes, it is locked behind Renown, but it's so simple, you can do it in probably about 30 minutes. But going back to prices, like I said, it is super good. Personally, on my server, as long as I don't accidentally run out of them, I have no issues selling about 10 a day. Of course, that's like with limited cancel scanning because I forget about this item a lot, but it's super simple and I highly recommend it. And all right, the next thing on this list is actually a pairing of items. One I've actually already mentioned, and the second is a new item I haven't really talked about on the channel. And these are inhalers as well as soul cages. So up first, let's talk about the inhalers, which is a craftable item from engineering. Now, if you guys have seen some of my early Dragonflight videos, you probably recognize this item because I've talked about it a lot, but I still talk about it to this day because how well they perform. This is a BOE item that's non-stackable, meaning it is server-side, so of course your prices will slightly differ depending on your server, but this inhaler as well as the cages are constantly in demand because they're used to grab a BOP crafting reagent that a lot of players need to craft their higher end gear. 
Now on my server, in terms of profit, it costs me about 1500 gold to 2000 gold to craft. That will basically be the same across the whole NA region. And on my particular server, I can sell them for about 3.5 to 4k gold. So doing the quick math, of course, is an auction house cut, whatever, but generally I am doubling my money every time I sell an inhaler. And on top of this, the NA region price is actually 4k itself. Now, of course, if you are on a fuller pop server like Area 52, you probably have a lower price than the region average, but you could very well be on a server that actually even is more expensive than 4k per inhaler. But with that being said, I personally have been selling an average of 10 of these a day. And so that means, you know, if I'm selling 10 a day and I'm profiting about 2,000 gold, I am bringing in 20k profit a day just from these inhalers. That doesn't seem like a lot, but you times that by 30, in a month I've made 600k off of this single item. Now, of course, that just comes down to cancel scanning. Some days are better than others. Some days I only sell five or six, while other days I sell 13. So it's not exactly 10 every single day, but I have a huge issue of running out of them. Once again, comes down to competition on your server. Now, in order to actually unlock this item, it requires 25 points. You have to put five points into optimized efficiency and then 20 points into scrapper. So if you are somebody who has never ever touched engineering, it is super easy and you can get it almost instantly as long as you get some initial knowledge points. Now, moving on to the item which I haven't talked about is actually the empty soul cage. So you guys know the inhaler is the actual weapon or tool that people use to get the actual souls, but they have to have a soul cage in their inventory to actually trap it. So the inhaler is kind of a one-time purchase while people buy multiple and multiple soul cages. And because of this, this is actually a stackable item, meaning it is sold on the region wide market. Now, the downside of this is that the price is pretty volatile. Some days it's unprofitable, some days it is profitable, and also that means the competition is way higher. But if you're somebody who loves to sell in bulk, then this is a perfect item for you. Now, in terms of how to unlock these soul cages, it costs 15 points inside of Enterprising. So super simple, once again, a brand new jewel crafter can unlock it super easy. Now, because this is a stackable item that doesn't have quality, multi-craft and resourcefulness is going to be your best friend. You definitely want to make sure you have a tool with multi-craft and then you're good to go. Currently, at the time of recording, I can make about 12 gold per craft because right now it costs me about 164 gold to make a soul cage and the soul cages are actually only selling for 155, but from the beauty of multi-craft and resourcefulness, I'm still making 12 gold per craft. Of course, that's an average, but still that is pretty decent for some sort of small, low reagent. All right, everybody, moving on to market number three, we're going to talk about cooking. And you guys are probably thinking, oh goodness, here she goes again, she's talking about cooking, but I wanna pay close attention to a specific item. And this is called Snow in a Cone. This is actually an item that is obtainable through a treasure. I will have a waypoint of the treasure on screen. You just have to go over there and pick it up. And that is why a lot of people don't actually know about it. And also it requires snowballs in its reagents, meaning a lot of people think they can't craft it, or they look at the prices of snowballs and think, oh goodness, that's super expensive, while wow, this item is actually bringing in a ton of profit. Right now, we're actually going to switch, so you guys are looking at my game, and I want to show you this in real time. So right now, if we were to search on the auction house, update our prices, right now I can make seven gold profit every single craft, which is super, super good, especially for a cooking item. You know, most cooking items make like two to five gold, so seven gold profit is super nice. But there is a huge thing you have to look out for, for this recipe. So many of you are probably aware that you can actually purchase snowballs from a vendor during Winter's Veil. 
but of course we're not in Winter's Veil, so you have to buy them off the auction house. And so if you don't override your price in Craft Sim, that means it will show you incorrect profit. If we erase all of our overrides, as you can see, Craftsim is saying, hey, you can make 78 gold because Auctionator is picking up the vendor price of the snowball, which is just unrealistic. So if you have Craftsim, I will have a Craftsim tutorial in the description, but if you go to price override, find the snowball, just do it for all of them, and type the current price, which is, you know, 24 0.8 gold, technically it's 0.08 gold. There we go. Hit close and boom, we are now making 8 gold. Originally I had, you know, 24.8, but the price has gone down a little bit. But, you know, feel free to hard code that to whatever you want. And as you can see, this is still super profitable. So yes, you're paying up for snowballs, but you're making a ton of profit. To put it in perspective, you know, it's going to cost us three snowballs, which is 72 gold, and we're going to get four cones out of it, which is a 84 gold value. Of course, you have resourcefulness and multicraft, which if that procs, that's even more profit, but this item is amazing. I'll try to throw up some screenshots if I can find some, but I sell this on a daily basis. The reason why they sell is because, first of all, you can just eat them for fun, but they are used in a feast recipe, specifically this one right here. So for the people who are producing feast, a lot of them just buy the intermediate crafts instead of crafting it themselves. So highly recommend this specific cooking item. So many cooking items are in fact great, but I highly recommend this one. And all right, moving on to the fourth item on this list, I'm going to let you guess. I've talked about this a lot, kind of, that might be a little bit of a hint, and it is bags. Did you guess it? But I'm not actually talking about Dragonflight bags. Well, I kind of am. Let me explain. Bags in general, tailoring bags, do amazing. We have old world bags, we have bags from Cataclysm, we have bags from Draenor, we even have bags from, you know, Shadowlands, which is technically now old world, and all of those sell super, super well. And if you haven't started crafting old world bags, I highly recommend it. To this day, of course, keep in mind bags are server side, so I can't say what your personal bag prices are, but I'm still selling lightless silk pouches for 300 gold. My crafting cost is only about like 230 gold, so right there we have a 70 gold profit. Of course, there's an auction house cut yet again, but that is still super good, especially for a bag. Another shout out to Deep Sea Bags. They do amazing. They are the BFA bag. I love them to death, so definitely don't forget about Old World Bags. But let's transition back over to Dragonflight. I'm not going to talk about this much because I feel like I always talk about it, but Dragonflight Bags, the Reputation Bags, and the Simple Ones do amazing as well. I've heard a lot of people who have kind of pushed bags to the side because they're only selling for about 30 gold on people's server. And of course, if you look at 30 gold, that's not a lot, but make sure you do the math. Most people, basically almost everybody, should be able to craft bags for like sub 7 gold. All of the materials are so ridiculously cheap, so yes, you're selling bags for 30 gold, but you only have a 7 gold cost. Once again, excluding the auction house cut, that's a 23 gold profit. If we flash back to Shadowlands, a lot of people remember bags selling at 200 to 300 to even 400 gold, and that is why a lot of people hate on current bags. But we have to remember that bags in the previous expansion had a huge vendor cost. For example, the Lightless Silk bags that I was just mentioning, you have to buy 25 per number thread. Assuming you can buy them at the cheapest cost at 8.8 .8 gold, that is 220 gold just for vendor items. So of course, yes, this bag might have sold for 260 gold, but 220 of that is automatically eaten up by vendor cost. So right there, you're making about 40 gold profit. That is not far off from current bags selling at 30 gold. Now, of course, once again, you know, it's completely up to you, but why not sell both? Continue to sell those old world lightless pouches because they still sell super well, as well as the lower cost bags and get both markets. 
A lot of people like to push bags to the side. I know they're not super exciting, but don't forget about them, try them out. Even if you logically think they shouldn't sell, trust me, they do. And all right, everybody, we are down to the last market. And this market is kind of a crazy one and you will probably think I've lost my mind and who knows, maybe I have, but it's kind of a funny story. And this is the duck stuffed duck lovey or really any sort of dragonflight toy. Now to those who don't know what this item is, this is literally just a random tailoring toy that you can get from Dragon Scale Expedition Rep. And I have a funny story about this. Basically, you know, a few weeks ago, I finally hit Renown 21 with the Dragon Scale Expedition, and of course I got this recipe. Just because of the fact of knowledge points and first craft bonuses, I wanted to craft one of the toys to make sure I actually got that free knowledge point and the medal. Well, I accidentally wasn't paying attention, and instead of crafting one toy, I ended up crafting ten. Now, it wasn't a huge deal, the crafting cost of this item is actually only 50 gold, so it's not like I lost a ton, that was, you know, cost me about 500 gold to make all ten, but I definitely did not want all ten. So what I did is I learned one for myself, because why not, and I attempted to sell the other nine. I assumed they were going to be pretty low value and pretty bad sellers, but I was super wrong. At the time of my mistake, the ducks were selling for like 6,000 gold a piece, and I actually ended up selling three of them at that price. Then about two weeks later, I completely sold out of those original nine. Fast forward to now, that same item is still selling for 1500 gold, and the crafting cost, like I said, is 50 gold a piece. So of course, it's not selling for 6000 gold anymore, it's selling for 1500, but still, that's insane profit margins for a 50 gold item. Now of course, once again, like I always say, this is going to depend on your server's prices because toys are server side because they don't stack, but you can apply this to really any sort of weird item, right? Tailoring itself has so many other toys, which I have to admit I haven't experimented with yet, which I really should do, and you should as well, right? We have the Expedition Tent, we have so many other ones, the foils, all of that that you could be selling and making some decent gold. Even if you only sell two or three a week, that is just extra gold you haven't been collecting and just haven't even attempted to get. Now, of course, this does come down to what recipes you have, right? This specific duck came from Renown21, and of course, if you have a random tailor on a random alt, you're not going to have access to that. But just take this into account and use it for really anything. Maybe you get a random recipe for leatherworking, or a random recipe on your scribe. Whatever it is, if it looks a little bit unique, try it out and maybe you'll make some gold. Personally, on my server, the ducks do really well. I'm still selling, you know, a few every single week, and just, I hope it stays like that. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I know, first of all, this is not a very traditional what I'm currently selling, but I wanted to make it a little bit more unique, and hopefully one of these items work out for you. Of course, if you're just starting, don't get super discouraged. It does take time to start building up your professions, so make sure to check back. You know, by the time you see this video, soul cages might be unprofitable, but who knows, in a few hours, tomorrow, the next day, they become profitable again and you can make a ton of money. That's just how the region-wide markets work. Try your best, don't forget about these items, and always keep looking. But everybody, as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And have a good day, everybody.